Welcome everyone to another video. Today I will be walking you through how to install Selenium with Python and the developer tool we will be using is PyCharm from JetBrains and so I will be walking you through the complete installation and setup here on Windows 10. For those of you who don't know, Selenium allows a user to automate interactions with websites and web applications, and this is very useful if you're doing tedious testing or other tedious actions. It can also technically be used for bots. Now to get started, we first want to install Python, which is the language we're going to use for programming, and so this website is linked down below in the notes, down in the video description. We're just going to go ahead and download the most recent version. Go ahead and run the download. And when you get this window, just make sure that you check this box at the bottom that says add Python to path. You do need this checked and then go ahead and click on install now. When you get this window, just go ahead and click on disable path limit. Now when we installed Python, it installed something called pip, which we can then use to install Selenium. So to do that, just come down to the Windows start menu and type in CMD to open up the command prompt. We're just going to right click and run as administrator. To confirm that pip is installed on the computer, we can just type in pip, hit enter, and we can get a big long result message such as this, confirming that pip is on the computer. And at this point, we can just type in pip install selenium, and then hit enter to install. And then you'll get a message similar to this one once completed. Next, we need the web drivers for both Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. And so if you go back down to the notes down in the video description, there's another link there that will take you to this page. And this will have the web driver for Google Chrome. Now, notice right here that there are different version numbers. You want to get the one that matches what version of Chrome you have installed. So if I open up Google Chrome, click on the menu in the top right and go down to help and then about Google Chrome, we can see that we're using version 90. And so you just wanna make sure to get to the correct version, otherwise it will not work. So we're going to get version 90, and then we're on Windows, so we're going to get the Windows option. Go ahead and save it and click OK. Next, we need the web driver for Mozilla Firefox. So again, if you go back to the notes below in the video description, there is a link for this page. And if we scroll down, we have Linux options, Mac OS, and then we want the Windows options. We're on 64 bit, so we're gonna click on Windows 64. And then at this point, if we come down and click on the File Explorer and go to Download, we can see that we have both of our web drivers here. We need to extract both of them. So the Gecko driver, that's for Mozilla Firefox. If I just right click on it and click on Extract All, we can extract this pretty much wherever we want, but we're just gonna keep it simple. And so I'm going to delete everything up to the C drive. And we're going to create a new folder just called web drivers and then add a slash and then we're just going to go ahead and hit extract and then same thing for the chrome driver we're just going to right click extract all and we're going to put it in the same location so we're just going to delete all of this up to the c drive and we're just going to select the web drivers option and then add a slash and then click on extract and we can see that they're both in here if i close this first uh, window and go to the C drive. We can see that we have a new folder here called web drivers. If I double click on it, both of our web drivers are located in that folder. The last thing we need is our developer tool. And so again, if you go back down to the notes in the video description, there is a link to this page for JetBrains. And we're just going to come up here to developer tools, click on PyCharm, and then just look for the download option. We're going to use the community option because it's free. And then when ready, just go ahead and run the download. And then you'll want to proceed through the installation. Make sure to check all of these boxes. And then click on Next, Install. And then when you get to this window, go ahead and just save everything you're working on and then go ahead and reboot now. After reboot, just go ahead and open up PyCharm by double clicking on the icon. When you get to this window, just click on New Project. And then for the location, we're just going to change the project name. You can call it whatever you would like to. I'm just going to call it test project and then click on create. Now, please be aware it may take a couple minutes to fully load and that's completely normal. But once it's ready to go, just go ahead and click on file up at the top and then go down to settings. From here, go down the left hand column until you see the name of your project. Just click on it and then click on Python interpreter. And then go ahead and click on this little plus sign. And then in this search, type in Selenium. It should just be the top option. Make sure it's selected. And then click on Install Package. 
Now, once you get the message that it installed successfully, at this point, you should be good and ready to go. However, you will want to run a test just to make sure. So to do that, just go ahead and close all these windows and then come over here to the name of your project and just right click, go over to new and then click on Python file and then go ahead and give this file a name. I'm just going to call mine uh, test and then hit enter. To do this test up at the top, we're just going to type in from and then selenium import and then web driver and then hit enter twice and then driver equals and then web driver dot. Now we're going to test Firefox first. So we're going to select Firefox and then parentheses and we just need to type out the executable path. So executable underscore path equals and then parentheses and this is just the path or location we chose earlier. So we're going to do the C drive slash and then web drivers was the folder slash and then we're doing Firefox. So we need the gecko driver. So we're going to select that option and then hit enter twice. And then we're going to do driver dot get parentheses. We're just going to do a simple test here. We're going to do HTTP colon slash slash www.youtube.com and then once we have everything filled out here we're just going to right click and do run test you can also just hit the play button up here on the top right but i'm just going to go ahead and click on run and we can see that it worked now please be aware if something popped up concerning your firewall be sure to allow it through so please be aware of that at this point, we're going to go ahead and close Firefox. And now we're going to try and test Chrome. So right here, we're going to change this to Chrome. It is case sensitive. And then instead of the Gecko driver, we need the Chrome driver. So we're going to select that one. Again, we're going to right click and then run. And we can see that it worked there as well. So both of our web drivers are working with Selenium here in PyCharm. At this point, our tests are working. We are set up and installed and ready to go. It basically just comes down to now learning the language so that we can do what it is that we need to. But if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. But that's everything for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.